Hello and welcome to the Healing Heart Channel. My name is Dr. NJ Kelly and this is FW3 15.7 where we talk about those questions that are burning in your heart concerning your relationship. You know, we want to hear from you and we will work together at those issues that are burning in your heart, like I said. This is your relationship section, your relationship doctor, your relationship go-to person. Talk to me, give me those questions, let's work at them together, let's discuss them and find out what it is that is bothering you. Should you stay? Is it time to walk away? Well, guess what? You will find out because we'll be right back. Maggi? No. Crayfish and palm oil. There is high demand for these products. We sell it at wholesale price so you can resell to make more money. Sunny Uso and Company. We have been in business for a while now and our customers have been so wonderful. Need any of these products? Maggi? No. Crayfish and palm oil. We have it all at wholesale price. Call 713-922-2968. Or come to 9898 Business Street, Suits 430N, Houston, Texas 77036. Or email us at sunnyibrahim2000 at yahoo.com. Call us to cater for your guests. We are also number one in catering services only for other and events. Oil services. Ask us now or go to www.psgoilservices.com. Maggie? No. Crayfish and palm oil. We have it all. Sunny Uso and Company. We go miles to put smiles on your face. I am back with the Healing Channel. And now we're going to talk about those things that are burning in your heart. We want to make headway tonight. We got to accomplish something, you know. Um, here is your healing doctor. What are those questions that you have that are burning your heart? Those questions that you want to deal with or you don't want to deal with? Well, let's talk about them. I have a few questions here, and we are going to be talking about those questions that were sent to us, and we will give you some answers as well. So, let's get it rolling. The first question says, Dr. NJ, I have this girl I've been dating. She took me to her house where we discussed several issues. Later, we started kissing and caressing ourselves, but we didn't have any sex. After that day, she never called me again. Hmm. When I call, she will not even pick up my calls. And when I text, she does not reply. I'm confused. I thought we had it going on. Well, well, well. And this person's name is Joe. Joe, I got news for you. Joe, all she wanted was to try to see what you, to, she just wanted to be with you for a minute to see if she wanted more. It doesn't seem like she wants more, Joe. I think it's time for you to pack up, forget about this girl, and keep it moving. There's no need for you to be confused, Joe. She tried out something, but she didn't go on with it because for whatever reason, it just wasn't right for her. For one, Joe, she might have been shy or disappointed, but, Maybe you just didn't have something that she wanted. I really think you need to keep it moving, Joe. This is time to say goodbye. And, but you know what? You will find someone who truly likes you for you and who will be ready to be with you. It's not this person. Okay, Joe? So cut it loose, Joe. All right, that was Joe. Let's talk about somebody else. Okay, this question is from Kingston. Kingston says, Dr. NJ, I am a young boy of 27. Mm, 27, okay. He says young boy, but I say a man of 27. And I am an undergraduate of an institution in a city in Nigeria. I have a girlfriend, but all I think every minute is sex. Even when she's not around, I look for an alternative way to ease my sexual pressure. Sometimes, I nearly go to the extent to masturbate, but I hold myself not to do that. Wow. Kinston, what's going on with you, Kinston? 
So Kingston says, I want you to help me, Dr. Engine. Kingston, we're about to help you. Because I think you have some things going on. You have some major issues. Well, the first thing I want to tell you, Kingston, make an appointment to see your doctor. You need to find out what this whole sexual energy is. At 27, you're not some 15 or 16-year-old who's just trying to be, you know, come up to being a man. You're a 27-year-old man. I'm sure you're working. There are things you're doing that need to keep you busy. Why is your mind on sex all the time? Something else is going on. Maybe you need to find some medical attention. That's why I say make an appointment first. That should work. If it doesn't work, Kingston, well, write me again, and we'll find a way to solve your problem at that time. Okay, we'll take a break, and we have some more questions here that we will be talking about. It's the Healing Heart Channel with Dr. NJ. Have you been told that you are not qualified to own a home simply because of your credit? Or have you been deprived of owning your own commercial center? It's easy somehow. All you need to do is ask RIM. RIM, real estate professionals, will guide you from the beginning to the close of the deal. We do private and commercials. 9898 Business Street, Suit 430N, Houston, Texas, 77036. Call now at 713-922-2968 or visit us at www.repro.com. Email Sami Ibrahim, 2000 at Yahoo. Com. Dream real estate professionals get naira in nigeria or get dollars in u.s we also make it easy to get your phone available to purchase your desired home here in usa try us today Dream real estate professionals we are here to help i am back this is dr nj kelly and we are with the healing channel so we were talking about that last question. That kind of troubled me. Did it trouble you all? Because this guy was talking about just having sex all the time. All the time he had sex on his mind. And he's 27 years old. And I'm wondering, what is he doing? Does he have a job? Why does he have sex all the time on his mind? Well, you guys heard me. I said he needed to see a doctor because that, there was just something going on with him there. But anyhow, let's talk about some of these other questions because here is your healing doctor. I have another question. So this person is, his name is Chris. Chris says, good day, Dr. NJ. Please give me a helping hand on this. Yes, you are in the right place, Chris. Chris says, I'm 32 years old. I have a girlfriend whom I love so much, and I met her three years ago when she was 28. Well, we've been dating, and now she says she just wants to be my very good friend. Well, as we got along, it took us about 13 months, he says, into the relationship, and then I get a text message. Chris says she broke up with me. Well... Fast forward two years later, uh, when we were already out of school, I met her one day in a store, and she says, do you want to go back with me? Hmm, Chris, I don't know what's going on with this lady. So wait a minute, let me understand, Chris. So you, you two were dating, and then she broke up with you, then you came back, and then another day, she sent you a text message, and then two years later, you ran into her, and she wants to come back. Well, what is this about? What, what is she doing? Is she toying with your feelings? That's what it sounds like to me, Chris. Um, she's playing games. I'm telling you, Chris, she's playing games. Come on, you can find somebody else who's serious about you, somebody who loves you for who you are. What is she talking about? Why, why does she keep breaking up with you in that way? What, what is going on? I'm as confused as you are, Chris. But what I'm going to say to you, Chris, is you need to step away. This is it. This is it. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything in this relationship. 
okay? Because she's moving you like you represent a piece of furniture that she can always bring back to the living room, move it to the dining room, and wherever she wants. She's toying with you, Chris. I'm going to say, cut her loose, okay? Well, I'm sorry, Chris, if I sound harsh, but um, I'm just driving the point home. You understand that, right? This girl is immature, and she's unserious about maintaining a relationship. She's not looking for a relationship, Chris. I hate to break it to you. And you are not the one to just stay still waiting for her to come back. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying, Chris? She, she's not serious. I'm sure you can find somebody else. You've been through school, university with her, like you said, and then she breaks it off, she comes back, then you meet her again two years later, and she wants to come back. Come on, man. That's it. That's it, Chris. Cut this person loose, okay? All right, let's talk about... Um, we have another question, and this is from Kenny. Kenny says... Dr. NJ, I am a 24-year-old student. I have a girl that just finished high school. Wait a minute. You 24, she just finished high school, so she's 18. Um, hmm, okay. And then we love each other, but the problem is that we have a little, each time we have a little misunderstanding, she tells me it's over. Is it because why is she doing that, you're asking me? Kenny, I don't know why she's doing that. But first of all, Kenny, she is 18 years old. She just finished high school, 17, 18. Yeah, I, I think 18. Most people are 18 year old when they come out of high school. And you are 24. Um, there's something that doesn't quite fit there. Of course she's immature. You're already in, uh, you're already in college, you say. 24 year old, Kenny. What are you doing with this girl? Why don't you find someone who is in college with you? Or why don't you find someone, you know, who's closer to your age? This, this is uh, how, many, how many years here? What, seven year gap? Um, yeah, Kenny, I, I, I don't think that this is um, what you should be doing at this point with this girl. I think she's too young. Ooh. 